Okay, my friends, today we are doing a deep dive into the four brand new double LPs released by Grace Vanderwall, and it's I not can't. Four LPs. What? It's not four LPs. Well, well, what is this? It's a cover by Grace. But, but I thought there were four LPs. It was just another dream. A dream? Okay, my friends, today we are going to do a reaction to a cover of Cry Me a River by Grace Vanderwall. Uh, the cover is by her. Obviously, it's an old song, an Arthur Hamilton song from 1953, first made famous by Julie London in 1955. And boy, the cover, it's been covered by so many people. It is crazy, men and women. And so before uh, I watch Grace on her version, which I can't wait for, I'm not real crazy about this song. It's always kind of seemed a little bit pathetic to me in a way. It's a torch song, sort of a jazzy torch song. And, um, but it's been done by so many. And I went and listened to, gosh, about eight or nine of the, I listened to like one or two minutes of eight or nine versions. And most of them, I, <clears throat> I just don't really like very much. I like Julie London's okay, but the one thing about them is that they just don't, they don't seem to be crying a river. You know, it just, it seems almost sort of pro forma in a way, you know what I mean? Although I thought, because it seems like it's a snarky song, and I'll get into that here in a second before we watch Grace. But the only one I thought was really sort of a little bit sort of sassy was Ella Fitzgerald. I, like, I liked her version. Um, of course, there's been some really nice sounding uh, sounds on it by singers. Diana Krall, of course, she helped make it more famous. And Barbara Streisand, I liked her version. I thought her voice was the best of all of them. And um, there were a couple that weren't very good at all. Joe, Joe uh, Crocker did a version. It's kind of out there, didn't really like it. Anyway, Rick Astley even did a version of it. And uh, Leslie Gore's version was actually kind of awful. But anyway, so <clears throat> the lyrics on it make it sound like, you know, it's snarky. Oh, cry me a river. You're not even crying at all. Yeah, cry me a river like I'm gonna, like I'm gonna care. Um, and it's even got like that one line in it that's a bit bizarre and that I can probably guarantee you you'll never ever here in modern lyrics and that is uh you told me you told me love was too plebeian plebeian <laughs> yeah i don't think you're ever going to hear that in a modern in modern lyrics and also let me just say if some dude tells a woman that love is plebeian well lady you ought to just leave that sob right now leave him standing there without his tears whatever so Let's just jump in to Grace's, I guess it's sort of a, maybe a shorter version, I'm not really sure, um, but <clears throat> I just can't wait to hear her voice, and there she is, let me back it up to a thing, I just had it on a place where her face showed really well, I have not heard any of this, so it's two minutes and 19 seconds, by the way, this is uh, brought to us by the Grace Vanderwall fans, this is evidently an IG that Grace did yesterday, on the 20th of March. So here we go with Grace and Crimea River. Now God, you say you're sorry. Wow. All right, hold on a second, my friends. This already puts all of them to shame. Why am I sounding surprised? That vibrato, that lovely hanging rasp, the sincerity of the words. Go listen to those other ones. If you want to see the contrast, hear the contrast. Okay, here we go. Now you say wow. sorry. The way she held you. For being so untrue. Well, you can cry. Cry me a river. 
Double tracking is nice also. I love how she's going into the low voice. That's the sassiness I love. This is what Ella does too. The way she did, oh. All right, let's listen to that again. I remember, oh, I remember all that you said. Said love was too complacent. Said you were through with me and now. Just to prove you do Why don't you cry in the river? I just want to back it up to the way she says why. There's so much texture and depth. And gosh, uh, fulfilling full sound in her voice better than all of them the way she says why here listen to the way she says why you do. right here coming up why don't you cry in the river love that whisper cry in the river i cried a river Love the pace on this. I cried a river. God, she's she's just doing that low voice so well now. I cried a river. Gosh, wow, let me just get her, her mug back up here. I mean, okay, I'm still just not crazy about the song itself. <laughs> the whole Cry Me a River. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't, I know a dude wrote this. Maybe he wrote it for a woman or whatever, but I just don't think guys you know, cry rivers or talk about crying a river over somebody. Yeah, I cried rivers when I got divorced 16 years ago, but I didn't think about writing about it. I don't know. So it, but, <clears throat> but Grace's performance, I mean, seriously, y'all really should go listen to some of those other ones if you want to, uh, if you want to contrast, listen to a bunch of them. There's, there's so much texture and emotion that she puts into it. It's not superficial. This is the problem I had with so many of the other ones. They almost seem too lighthearted, a little bit too jazzy, you know? And maybe Julie London started it that way and everybody just kind of did it that way and didn't put enough of themselves into it. But of course, Grace never makes that mistake. She puts herself into every single performance and you can see it on her face, her body motions, everything. And I love the, the range on this. I mean, she goes really low. She goes down past contralto on this, I think. And then she comes up into not really a soprano, but then she's got the vibrato over and over her vibratos, the control she's getting over her vibratos now. Wow. I'm trying to think of who to compare him, compare her to outside of Frank Sinatra. <laughs> You know, man, but th these, these are the hardest songs I think for singers to sing the slow song where the voice lingers. It's really hard to control the voice. Listen to Frank Sinatra on my way, the way he controls his voice. 
It's astounding. And grace does that here. I mean, this was near perfection, maybe perfection on what she does with her voice. Wow. And the that thing I was trying to get to when she said why there, there's a fullness, an emotional fullness in her voice that sweeps over you, just envelops your soul when she does that. The guitar was really nice on this. I didn't even know that her friend was in the background until halfway through the movie. That was kind of funny. Um, a friend not even really paying attention, it looks like. Grace just sits down and does cry me a river. Are you kidding me? Wow. Ah, uh, gosh, just, I mean, if I could like this song, this would be the one I'd listen to. I'm just never quite in that place where this song is supposed to take you. Maybe some of you are. If you are, enjoy it. Enjoy it to its fullness. But as much as I could enjoy it, it's Grace's voice and emotions that I enjoy that she did on this song. Wow. Simply, she just simply can't do a bad performance. All right. I'll get to those four double LPs sometime soon, hopefully. <laughs> Y'all take care of yourselves. Bye now.